You know, you mentioned at the round table that you thought your name would be mispronounced so much. Yeah. Ben doesn't seem all that hard to me. Ben, no. I, I mean, <laughs> I'd say if a coach got that wrong, you might want to think about going somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, have you ever seen Coach Brown coach? Uh, I mean, at some of the spring practices, yeah, I have seen him coach, and uh, he's for sure an active guy, to say the least, yeah. Yeah, when you were doing the round table, I, I thought you were a perfect fit. You seemed pretty intense yourself. So yeah, yeah. As long as you're ready for Coach Brown. Oh, yeah, I for sure am. So, Ben, let's talk about official visits. Let, tell, tell the people that are watching what an official visit is like. Uh, for instance, uh, how much time do you spend on academics? How much time do you spend on football? I mean, I think the biggest thing is they do really spend a lot of time on academics. I was able to sit down one-on-one -on -one with an academic advisor and really get to know what I was going into academically. And then football, obviously, I was able to spend a lot of time with the players and just with the coaches and not even necessarily talk football the whole time. We would just talk about our family, about school, about other sports and that kind of thing. So it wasn't all necessarily football. And they did a really good job of balancing everything. How important is the host, the, the guy who's on the team that kind of chaperones you mm -hmm. for the weekend? How important was that in your decision? Uh, that was really important because, I mean, I think the host's main job was to make sure we had a fun time and to answer any questions we had. So it was a really good, I had a really good host, Jacob Wahlberg, actually, and he did a really good job of making me feel like at home and that this is a place where I wanted to be. And any questions, I didn't hesitate to ask him, and he was there for me no matter what I had to ask or that kind of thing. You ultimately and obviously picked Purdue. How many other schools did you visit that you felt like you had a good feel for that you could compare Purdue to? Uh, I would say there's probably five other schools that I could compare Purdue to based off of visits and that kind of thing, yeah. But I mean, ultimately, I knew Purdue was where I wanted to be, and it was the best place for my family and for me to grow in football and academically. Were you at the upset over Ohio State a couple of years back? Uh, I was not at it, actually. I was on a different school's visit, but when I got back to the hotel, I was watching the end of that game, so I watched everything that mattered, got to see all that, yeah. I want you to watch this. That's it for Ben Kryle and myself, Alan. Give us some more about Purdue. You nailed Very it! Good. Very, Very good! good. Very good. Can be taught. I like it. Uh, Malik Carr on the other side of the football from Ben Kryle is going to be he's listed as a tight end, but played wide receiver in high school, wants to be a wide receiver at the next level, and I think the opportunity to do that at Purdue was a big reason he chose to leave the state of Michigan. He's a matchup problem. He's a guy who's a you know, double-double guy on the basketball court. He can run. Ran 4-6-7 at the opening regionals last year. He's going to be a big-time weapon for them, possibly early on. Another big-time weapon from the state of Michigan, Abdur Rahman Yassin, is a guy they flipped from Northwestern in December. Was always considered one of the most skilled wide receivers in the Midwest. Great route runner, outstanding lateral quickness, great ball skills, and uh, positional knowledge. What, he, what we weren't sure about was speed. And as a, a senior, he went out and ran track, showed he had deep ability. He uh, made a lot of big plays, got down the football field. So I think he's an immediate contributor as well because of his work ethic and just the positional skills that he brings to the table. Tyreek Murphy is a guy that I think is going to have a chance to obviously contribute early. I, I really like him. He's a big back, about 220 pounds. Doesn't look it. You see the breakaway speed that he has. But I think he's going to bring a lot to the table. You see him catching the ball out of the backfield. Nifty feet. Runs through people. Has good speed. So this is a player that I think it, at a place like Purdue is going to be able to compete and compete early. Gus Hartwig, offensive lineman. You know, Howard, when we were on campus last week, last year, or rather last summer, we thought the one place where Purdue really was behind may have been offensive line. I say that because you watch Gus here play. He can pull, he can move, which you have to do in Jeff Brom's offense. He can have a chance. That's a really good zone block. Very well done. Moves his feet. He's got good sustain. Very good feet. I think he's a perfect fit. Again, it's all about fit for Purdue's offensive line. And here's a simple reason why Boilermaker fans should be happy. This class has as many four- and five-star commits as the last six <laughs> Boilermaker classes had combined.